happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, hey, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, the Sanjin. This is the 909X2, and I perform an evening medium wave band scan with it. First, we'll go over features. Second, I'll do a size comparison. Third, start cruising the evening band. So here it is, the Sanjin 909X2. You can pick this up currently for 225 bucks at Amazon. Links are below in the comments section. Uh, do check it out if you're a fan of Sanjin. This is a pretty cool radio. I'm enjoying all the new features on it. Uh, there's a couple uh, issues I had, which I might mention in this video. And uh, yeah, you'll get to see this in action tonight on the medium wave band. So first, score of features. Um, what does your two and a quarter get you? Um, on this left hand side, as you can see, it looks just like the 909X that it replaced. We have the AM external antenna jack. You can plug in a, a C-Crane twin coil in here for medium wave. You can plug in a MLA30 uh, active loop for short wave. So yeah, it does quite a bit. I do love this. Um, this radio is built for external antennas. Auxiliary in for MP3 players. Plug it in and hit this button to disengage the radio and take over an auxiliary in. Uh, we have a recording setup where you have a standby switch out and we have a line out. That way it can trigger a digital recorder like the DAR-101 that Sanja makes. Headphone jack with FM stereo listening. Here's our attenuator. It says maximum right now. You can turn it all the way down to minimum. Okay, this works for medium wave, long wave, and of course short wave. We'll leave it on max. DC input, 9 volts, 1.2 amps. It does come with the AC adapter, which is nice. For the radio, we have a 3-inch speaker, which is improved over the old model. Uh, definitely sounds much deeper, a lot more bass to the speaker. Um, great that they did that. Though I preferred the older speaker as well because I'm, I never really jammed it much for music. I usually mainly for news and talk. Uh, but I really like this. Uh, definitely on FM. Sounds fantastic. Sanjin, a raised little emblem there. Over here we have a beautiful LCD. They really made this nice. Uh, the frequency is huge. It's nicely displayed here. Um, you have your local time, and then you can have a button up here to change it to UTC if you'd like, or a second time zone. We have a signal strength indicator over here on the right. This little blue box shows the page number you're on. This uh, displays any information you named your presets, which is really cool. You can name the presets on medium wave and long wave, FM and airband. Uh, when it comes to shortwave, you can name the pages of the preset you're on. Below here is what preset uh, you're currently active. 1 through 9. It's in sets of 9, of course. Uh, you get a total of 1,674 presets on the radio divided into three memory banks. Each of those banks has 45 air, 36 FM, 27 medium wave, which is okay. I wish it had more. Uh, 9 long wave and 441 short wave. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't have ability to get 441 short wave stations, so if they could take some of that and put it towards medium wave in future models, do it. Sanjin, if you're watching, that'd be really nice. <laughs> so let's look at buttons over here. We have uh, band buttons, air, FM, long wave, short wave, sorry, excuse me, long wave, medium wave, short wave at the bottom. These three have ATS functions, auto tuning storage, and up here we have P scan, which means page scan, and it acts like a nine channel scanner. Numeric keypad for direct entering frequencies. Decimal point, you do need this when you're entering frequencies for the FM and the airband. We have a cancellation to delete memories that you've put in. Three timers, so you have three alarms, uh, or three times the radio is going to turn on or trigger your recorder, which is nice. Single sideband button. Uh, looks like we have our wake to alarm or radio above there. Frequency, so you hit this button, enter the frequency you want, and then enter. Memory, so you can uh, manually enter memories with the memory key. And of course, enter confirmation. When I press this with the power off, it shows the version of the radio. I'm on 073. Uh, bandwidth control, and above this you'll see a really cool thing. It says, uh, I believe, an M with a square with a key. And that means memory lock. So this is a memory preset lock. So if you find some presets you like and you set up the radio, you can hit this and lock those individual presets. And so if you ever hit an ATS by mistake, it does not delete them. That is an amazing feature because how many times have you hit ATS by accident by holding the band key too long and you've wiped out all those presets that you had previously? I like having locking presets. Awesome. 
Bandwidth button for medium wave and long wave, you get six kilohertz, four kilohertz, three kilohertz, 2.5 and 1.8 kilohertz. Now on the side here is the auto bandwidth control, which is interesting. Medium wave, I'm not a fan of it. I like having control on medium wave, but short wave is nice because short wave goes up and down quite a bit uh, during your listening. And it's a lot nicer to listen to short wave with that auto on. Same as FM, believe it or not, and the airband. So below it, we have the page function. So you can switch your different pages. So you'll have three on medium wave uh, edit. So you can edit each name of the preset you're on, which I did. I like to do that. Uh, it's fun. Uh, info button. This info button will show you signal strength, uh, signal noise ratio, uh, memory bank you're on, I believe, uh, an RDS information if you're on FM. This is handy, um, definitely for showing your signal strength, even though you have the meter on the side. So I tend not to use it too often for signal strength. But down here we have, it says menu. So we press and hold this. We have FM range, single sideband step beep. So just really cool things. Scan delay for the airband uh, version, factory reset, time setting, time format, <clears throat> excuse me, backlight, timing. We have uh, FM stereo on or off. And then soft muting for FM. There you go. And then change your memory banks. So that's how that works in FM stepping. So that is the menu. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Over here, power button, sleep function, charge indicator light when you're using nickel metal hydride batteries. This takes four AA batteries. If you install rechargeables and you switch the mode to rechargeable mode, when you plug in the AC adapter, it will charge the batteries overnight. Here we have an illumination. We can change the brightness of the display at night. That's nice. So we can turn that light on and off. Here we have a squelch button for airman. Works fantastic. Tuning buttons. Uh, this is up and down, seek tuning, and of course hold it down for fast tuning. I uh, like that. Then you have your fine tuning here on the wheel, which I use quite a bit. And you can also change the speed at which this tunes the radio with the step function in the middle. Uh, so you can coarse tune or fine tune. I tend to leave mine on fine tune, which is one kilohertz tuning on a on medium wave band or 10 kilohertz tuning on when it's fast. So there you go. Um, let's go to the right hand side of the radio. Quite a bit to go over. Hopefully get to tuning this soon. <laughs> uh, we have lock switch. We have uh, tone, news, normal music. I'll leave it on normal. It tends to be the best setting. Uh, we have manual auto for the bandwidth control. I'm going to leave it on manual. Uh, over here we have our volume. Volume's a little narrow to grab onto. They could have made this knob a little longer. Uh, I feel like that's one thing they could have done. And mine's a little hard to turn, unfortunately. Uh, up on top, hopefully that breaks in. Uh, on top, you can see the model number. We have some buttons, time set, daylight saving time set, and then world and home time settings. Uh, top antenna here is 46 inches of stainless steel. It's for your FM, shortwave, and airband listening. The medium wave using an internal ferret antenna. The back has a kickout stand with a world time clock. And down the bottom here, we have our frequency information, full coverage receiver, which is nice, showing the orientation of the batteries. There you go, warning, make sure the switch is in the proper position. There you go, pretty basic. Let's go ahead and do a quick size comparison so we can turn this radio on. We'll probably cru cruise the band fairly quickly. Um, and I'm gonna show you some of the issues I have with my radio. CC Pocket, CC Skywave, there you are. Size comparison, and then I have a deck of cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves Sanjin radios from China land. He's the master man who loves to tune it up, man. <laughs> okay, you get the idea. Standard deck of playing cards for size. All right. So, yeah, medium wave uh, has longer wavelengths, and it uses the internal ferrite bar antenna, which is a coil of wire around a ferrite bar. It's usually horizontally mounted, and then you turn the radios so the top edge of that radio is facing towards the station you're trying to receive or the other direction. So if you're Facing this way, this is west. If you try to pick up a west station, great. If you're trying to pick up an east station, it also works well because it's bi-directional. Works west and it works east. It just doesn't work north or south when it's in this position. So you'll see me turning the radio. And that's how you tune medium wave. It's kind of cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn it on. We're greeted with our bandwidth. Band we're on. Here, up here is... Uh, Okay, it's on AM mode, uh, band we're on, medium wave, battery life indicator. Uh, we're frequency, huge display, I love that. Our signal strength indicator, uh, slow tuning. And when you have double arrows, it's fast tuning for the jog wheel. Uh, over here we have page, we're on page one, which has five presets. 
down the bottom in that section there. Let's go ahead and turn this up. Let's jump to our first station. CHLO, Brampton, Ontario, 441 miles, 250 watts. Coming in nice and clear tonight. Now my radio suffers from spurious tones. I don't know if I mentioned that. Yes, there's you'll hear these really bright sounding tones that are very annoying and interfering. Um, it's something internally generated. And I'll show you how I can mitigate that with this radio. But my radio is not supposed to have that. So uh, bear that in mind as I tune. <laughs> You hear a hint of it here. Not too bad. So this is 540. Uh, this is actually CBK Watra Saskatchewan, which is a thousand miles uh, in this uh, westerly direction. If I turn it, I can just pick up Jackson, Wisconsin. CBK is definitely uh, taking control. Nice. One of the farthest stations we'll hear tonight. Hear that ring tone? That's a spurious tone. What's going on? Zelensky named Biden for his inact. WIND, Chicago. Decision to invade Ukraine. Anyway, chided the Biden administration for not slapping sanctions on Putin sooner during. A pretty emotional Zoom call with 280 U.S. senators and House members. I like the brighter sound is playing with the tone control. Sanctions months ago, <clears throat> there wouldn't have been a war. Well, the buildup went on. So here's 610. This is a KCSP, Kansas City, Missouri, 400 miles, 5,000 watts. Now, if you notice, really bad uh, spurious tone there. Definitely nothing in my home causing that. I took it outside. It's still on there. So um, every evening I have this. Now, this is how I defeat it. None of my other radios will also have this tone. So to defeat it, you can try bringing a passive loop in. I have a trick advantage. And you're pretty much you're detuning it, probably. I mean, it's something you don't want to do. You think it's been hard being stuck at home for a year? Think about your dog. It's been seven years for them. And they deserve so that helps it. But what if you don't want to use a loop? Because you didn't really need it. So also, you can hook up a external antenna. I actually have this real quick. I'll show you. And then we'll get to tuning this radio quickly. This is the C-Crane Twin Coil. Let me set it up real fast. Um, we're going to plug into the external jack here. Okay, just killed it. No more tone. We'll turn this on. It has the ferrite antenna here. I have it off the camera. I can tune it by moving it. So no more tone. I'm going to unplug this, tone will come back. So it's unfortunate my radio has that. Okay, let's keep going. Through the band. So this is WTMJ Milwaukee. If I point it north, it should come in nice and clear. I never go without my good feet support. Are your knees and back killing you by the end of the day? It was getting so severe I almost stopped walking. Bandwidth. I no my knees down. I couldn't believe how fast it helped me. You deserve a better life too. Come to the good feet store today. Call now. 414-545-3300. Leave it on 3 kilohertz. Tends to be the sweet setting for evening. Okay. 
Country Music, CFCO, Chatham, Ontario, 310 miles, uh, 6,000 watts to the northeast. You can hear spurious tones on 640, which is unfortunate. Um, we have a uh, Hispanic station, WMFN, and then we have WOI, Ames, Iowa. Um, so yeah, you can't really pick them up with that interfering tone. This is WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, coming in beautifully, uh, 434 miles to the south. Loving you After all the grief You know, I guarantee you he's gonna, at some point this year, be like, yeah, you know, I made a mistake and it cost me a lot. And it's coming nice and clear, 660 WFAN, New York, New York, home of the Yankees, 750 miles. Nice. This radio has improved over the old model for medium wave, by the way, as far as sensitivity. You know, whatever. Um, but a lot of young people can learn in the NFL, a 53-man roster plus practice squad guys. So 670 the score, you got to point it that way, um, has a spurious tone on here when it's detuned. You can hear it. We've had a lot of known gamblers in our league. I, I kind of... Don't really like the rule because you can kind of hear it when they're talking at full strength. This is WSCR Chicago, home of the Cubs. His own money, he's his own man. That's my location, by the way, Chicago, Illinois. I forgot to mention it. <laughs> Chicago, Illinois, USA, and it's the current time, 10:49 p.m. Central Standard Time. The NFL is trying to lead, but we we know the, the gambling problem that might. CJOB. Hundred miles, Canada. This direction, CFTR, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Look at the guts of all of that and figure out. Oh, this really didn't come from Ukraine. It came from somewhere else. WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. A little bit of a spurious tone there. That's just one more reason folks need to be extremely vigilant about anything they're receiving and then also good stuff to them. And that is what we can do. W O R seven ten New York, New York, seven hundred and fifty miles. monitor all transactions, but you can save up to 25% off your first year with promo code NEWS at lifelock.com. Identity 720 WGN. I named it WGN. And I put a preset lock on it. As you can see that preset key there next to the one so we know it's locked. And 720 local. Call a Loan Depot loan officer and ask about our 27-year smart term loan or... Country music coming out of CKDM, Dauphine, Manitoba, 820 miles. Some great listening tonight. Nice. CFZM, Zuma Radio, out of Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles to the northeast. Uh, you can see I named it as well. Manage your property 24-7 so you don't have to. Collect the rent, you don't have to. Maintenance, inspection, and... WSB, Atlanta, Georgia. You don't have to. There's no upfront fees. 630 miles to the south. Cancel at any time. Find out what your home... Many of the husbands bring them to the border, which from Kiev could take four days, five WJR, days, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles to the east. ...to Israel that it took them... 14 bucks. So you got WABC, you just heard them. New York, New York, 750 miles. Definitely has spurious tone there. Dang it. Birds are singing duets together and shaking each other across the street. Everyone has I can off tune it and it'll get better. 
Don't let junk get in the way. We make junk disappear. Losses of two and a third to three and two thirds percent. The Dow down 797 points. 780 WBBM Chicago. The S&P 128. And oil. Quicker with these buttons. CKLW Windsor, Ontario, 270 miles. A little bit of a tone there. A rough signal here, WGY, Albany, New York, 740 miles. WBAP Fort Worth, Texas, 810 miles to the southwest. Was, uh, at a ceremony at the the WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. More spurious tones. Now you can sometimes kill it. With the bandwidth, but it's not really helping me. And over here on the gain, you can bring the gain down. But then you lose the signal. So yeah, definitely an issue. It ain't happening. You know, we need to utilize our freedom of speech. And no, I WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, I need forty. Precept four, I named it. Uh yeah, coast to coast in the evenings. 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. There's a support going on here for, for uh, Putin. There's a support. The war you're going to have all over the country? Yep. We're going to do some west coast, some east coast. Here's KOA, west. Denver, Colorado, 890 miles due east. Or sorry, due west. Due east. Do east. <laughs> yeah. I know where I live. It's coming in nice. CJBC, Toronto, Ontario, 860 miles. I get my dynamite from CINO. 870 WWL. New Orleans, Louisiana, uh, 865 miles to the south. Shippers and traders already are turning away from it with gas prices now, according to Gas Buddy, coming in at an average of four dollars ten cents a gallon and all time. WCBS, New York, New York. Dow Jones says on whether high gas prices. Well, this is the arguments I hear. The Putin wing, never mind. It's just bizarre. WLS Chicago, believe it or not, I must be in a bad position for the station because it never comes in super clear like 720 or 780. <laughs> to your T-Mobile. Folks, you're simply paying too much for wireless. Legislation applies to a little quicker. Uses caution and dogs with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. Next card is safe to start at just eight weeks and four pounds. Ask your vet or we'll visit next card. Make this spring and summer your best ever with no joint pain holding you back. QC Kinetics, 937-936-0325. KMBZ, Kansas City, Missouri, 490 miles, 5,000 watts. FanDuel Sportsbook, because now, Illinois betters... 1,000 WMVP Chicago. To celebrate, new customers can tip things off with a risk-free first bet. I mean, for a whole host of reasons, and it sometimes can be... Uh, KDKA, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 450 miles. Let's go ahead and put the auto bandwidth on. You'll watch this change as signals changes. ...host of, you know, people who are... You know, donating dollars and, and supplies and are, are really committed to... So it's kind of annoying for medium wave, for, to me. ...very far away from us, but, you know, I think it's these small glimmers of hope where I... I know. ...all hours from now. My name's Dan Rangers from Night Side. We'll wrap it up tonight. As always, our dogs, our cats, our pets go to heaven. That's my right job. Sorry, Rangers. WBZ, Boston, Massachusetts, 880 miles. 
Okay, I'm turning off this auto. It's kind of annoying me. Like again, on short wave it works out pretty good because you have longer sweeps. With medium wave it's happening so much, it's choppy, so that's always changing quickly. Uh, 1040 WHO, uh, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles to the west. Seen social security number? Not me. Nope. Hey, 0180. Let me give it to you one more time. 855. KYW, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 700 miles. Okay, I think this is KAY, Little Rock, Arkansas, 570 miles. WTAM Cleveland, Ohio, 345 miles. A refreshing and easy to use This is expected annual flow evaluation. Call 314 451 8181. KMOX, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles. Receive the treatment. Experience long term improvement. Global News, 24 hours a day. Okay, so Bloomberg Radio, WBBR, is waiting to hear that. New York City, New York. Coming in difficult. Okay, I just picked up WRVA, Richmond, Virginia, 665 miles. Seven sixty four on your smart speaker by saying "Play Hope for Your Life." W Y L L Chicago. Okay, local. Okay, during the day it's WSQR. <laughs> In the evening it's WHAM, W H A M. Um, so yeah, it does change. Power, stations power down, other stations power up. This is Rochester, New York, 545 miles. WPHT, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 700 miles. Now I'm going to recruit the dial pretty quick here. It's got kind of a weird shook tone to it, I just noticed. Uh, that's something somebody complained about too. I didn't know what they meant until I started hearing that, tuning it now. So it's happening about mid frequency. The perspective you won't hear anywhere else. WLAC Nashville. Going far beyond the headline. Good food, friendly service. Offering a free shuttle to and from all NKU men's home basketball um, games. I think it's WCKY. Out in Ohio, Get over here. Cincinnati, 300 miles. No We're almost done. During tax season, because so much sensitive info was all together. KXEL, Waterloo, Iowa, 210 miles. Pretty close to this one. Uh, has anyone seen Social Security? <laughs> okay, 1610 is CHHA, Toronto, Ontario. Has on a Saturday and was unable to open Sunday due to lack of supplies. TCJJ, Iowa City, Iowa, 175 miles. Highly 
entertaining game. No step three in that KCNZ, Waterloo, Iowa, 210 miles, 1,000 watts to the west. Zone, Madison. Two stations mixing KBGG, Des Moines, Iowa, which is a gentleman talking 280 miles, and the Hispanic music is KKLF, Richardson, Texas, which is 790 miles in similar direction. <laughs> nice way to end it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and turn this off. There you go, the Sanjin 909X2 evening medium wave band scan with my radio uh, showing off the spurious tones that's not supposed to be there. If, you're if you buy this radio and it has those tones, return it. Uh, that's what I'm going to do with this radio. I did notice some of those tones also on shortwave on the lower part of the band in the evening. Uh, I'll pick it up anywhere from 2 megahertz up to around 6 megahertz. Uh, depending where I'm at. I've picked it up on WWV, 5 megahertz. I picked it up, uh, you know, like I said, around the hand bands. So yeah, it's uh, it could be an issue there. Um, single sideband, like I said, is, is annoying. Um, you hit it and then the volume goes away and you have no bandwidth control, which is impossible to tune in CW and, and things that I enjoy doing. So yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of mixed bag on this one. So this radio is going back because my number two key... Uh, is a little finicky. It doesn't always register a push, which is another thing to think about. Some of these buttons, but every other button works perfect for this number two. So yeah, it's going to go back. Maybe I had somebody else's return. Uh, and then I'm going to wait. Uh, I don't feel like jumping back into it again. That's why I waited to begin with. Uh, and I'll buy this radio again in about a year and re-review it and let you know if anything has changed. Uh, and hopefully they have changed and make changes to it. Uh, make better single sideband. I would love that. Uh, that's a big one. Take away the spurious tones. Uh, get better quality control with that. Because it's like nobody tested this radio. So if they would tested it, they would have known something's wrong with it. But that's my opinion. Um, it's still a great radio. People that own this love it. If they're just broadcast listening and they don't have spurious tones, it is fantastic. Again, auto bandwidth control is amazing. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Give me a big like if you did. Two, if you like Sanjay Radios, subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of the new videos. Come and do a bunch with this radio. And three, comment below what you think about the Sanjin 909X2, if it's for you or not. I have the older version. I actually like the older version uh, more for shortwave and medium wave, uh, external antennas. <laughs> uh, but for FM and airband, forget it. This thing is amazing because, well, of course, the other one didn't have airband. And the FM on this thing is like just amazing. FM, awesome. So there it is. Um, so definitely a, an awesome radio. Okay, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.